Hello and good evening or good morning to everyone. Welcome, Dr. Mandel here with you. Hope you're having a pleasant day or night. I see that you may be watching us right now live streaming as we are. Uh, let's talk about cervical spondylosis, degenerative joint disease, osteoarthritis, arthritis of the neck, a huge, one of the largest epidemics in the world and getting bigger. Let's head right to it because this is giving you a heads up on 10 specific things you should not be doing. Not should be, but should not be. Very important you understand that. Let's head right for the uh, pictures and we'll move on right here. We're talking about spinal degeneration. Uh, we're looking at uh, degenerative changes that occur from bad, poor habits. We'll talk more about the weight of the head being 12 pounds and obviously with the stresses we put upon our body looking down uh, from falls to accidents to bad posture. Uh, there are many different things that we're going to touch on, the important ones, but degeneration will cause irritation on nerves and will cause neck pain. It will cause other symptoms like headaches, pain into the arm, into the chest, burning. It can cause bringing in the ears, tinnitus, vertigo, dizziness, visual problems, TMJ problems. The list goes on and on. But this is very, very common. As you move here, we are looking at degenerative changes. We can look at the narrow disc space. We can look at bone spurs. Those bone spurs are called osteophytes. Those bone spurs occur when there is instability. This is a arthritide, a degenerative arthritide, a degenerative joint disease that comes from imbalance. As we age, we all degenerate, but many of us degenerate much quicker than we should be. When the bone spurs start to occur, it starts causing more irritation on the disc, more on the nerve, more pain, and obviously, uh, more symptoms you're going to be suffering with. If you look here, here is a, another spur in the front of the bone. Understand that the spine is towards the back. Uh, you can have degeneration in the front and have no symptoms. You could have a little degeneration in the back and it'd be very symptomatic. Uh, but obviously, as the joint degenerates, the disc between it starts to compress more because there's more load, more wear and tear. All right, so this picture shows us a flexion and extension. It shows us in the middle of the neck, if you look at between the vertebrae, they look differently than the ones above. You see they're kind of not perfectly squared. You can see how narrow they are between the vertebrae. That's showing us joint degeneration. Uh, that is considered spondylosis. As we come here, uh, we're looking at cervical radiculopathy. This is when the nerve becomes compressed or irritated. Uh, that can affect commonly into the brachium of the arm. Uh, it goes into the shoulder, arm, elbow, forearm, hand, as well as fingers. Tangling, numbness, cramping, grasping objects, difficulty holding objects, uh, sensations, burning. They feel like you got ants crawling on you. Those nerves can play lots of funny games. As we look here, we can see that the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is that we need to be aware while we are looking down. Prolonged looking down is going to cause excessive wear and tear on those joints, the head being 12 pounds for every inch we go forward to an additional uh, 10 pounds. If you see that person on the left right there, that's three, three inches, four inches forward. You're looking at uh, 42, 52, possibly up to 60 pounds of stress the back of the neck and shoulders and ligaments have to withstand. If you look at this picture here, this is texting. If you look down uh, to the left, obviously, that is good. You see, the less we bend our head, the more stable it's going to be. Now, if you look all the way to the right, 60 pounds of force, uh, that weight of the head against gravity is putting on the back of the neck. That is what causes spinal degeneration, spinal uh, cervical spondylosis. Uh, if you look in the middle, just going 30 degrees forward, uh, puts 40 pounds of stress. Now imagine the amount of not minutes, not hours, but the amount of days, months, and years people are in this position, and this is why they are having degen degeneration. The sad thing about this is that it's silent until the end, until those nerves get compressed. 
The other tip here I want to give you is that sometimes we get really carried away in our work. Uh, look how this fellow's sitting. He's kind of slouching forward. Well, he stays in that position eight hours a day. You must get up more often. You must change positions. You must give those muscles time to change. When you start overworking muscles, uh, particularly anywhere in the spine, anywhere in the neck, those are going to fatigue and eventually you're going to have problems. We look here, ladies, uh, this is something for you guys. You don't have to worry about this, but I take that back. Today, guys are carrying around suitcases. They're carrying around uh, other bags. Uh, they're carrying around uh, briefcases. Uh, so there are several things that uh, people are doing out there, but realize the excessive stress on that neck area. If we look here, uh, look at the, 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 the way the spine looks. This is a undercovered x-ray, uh, or let's say this is uh, a way of looking at the spine, what is happening here while that weight is on that shoulder. You get compensatory changes, you get a little scoliosis, uh, you've got changes that are going on in that area, and uh, this is something you need to be very, very aware of. If you look here, this will show you about backpacks. Kids using backpacks, uh, today adults using backpacks, backpacks uh, bring your head forward. So if you are keeping that backpack uh, for long periods of time, you need to make sure you don't carry lots of excessive weight. You need to make sure that the backpack fits you correctly. Uh, that is something that you must really understand. If you look here, you're looking at the old uh, car truck on those bumpy roads. Uh, if you are moving on those bumpy roads and uh, you notice that uh, you're getting a lot of vibration, if you're on a motorcycle and a three-wheeler and a four-wheeler, uh, you need to be aware because being on those bumpy roads puts a lot of stress upon the neck and shoulders. It can irritate those nerves, particularly if you have arthritic changes. So just a little tip you want to be aware of. Uh, here we are uh, looking at this beautiful lady here with her head tilted off to the side. Wow. That is a very bad habit. Not only people are doing that on the regular phones, but they're doing that on their cell phones. Now, these cell phones are awful small and narrow. So if I got my head like this, the regular phone will keep it about here, the cell phone all the way over. Be very, very careful, please. That's going to inflame those nerves and cause lots of issues and pain. Here's the problem here. Most of us do it. I say most of us. A huge majority of our population does this. Um, I don't do it. I don't recommend to do it. Uh, here is something that you must get off that tummy because look how the head is turned to the side. Spondylosis, uh, degeneration is when your head is turned, uh, that is definitely going to inflame and narrow that nerve where it comes out at the intervertebral foramen and you are eventually going to have lots of problems. Uh, here's a fellow here, and uh, when I say, what's the best way to turn? Well, if you have this type of problem in your neck and you're, you're known to get flare-ups, be aware of turning your neck fast. Don't do it. If you're going to start turning around, instead of just grabbing your neck and ripping it around, start using your body more. Start turning your shoulders more. Be more aware of rotating your neck because you're going to preserve it if you don't keep uh, it, you're, if you don't keep aggravating it. So try to be aware that when you have weaknesses, uh, you just have to take better care of it and be a little bit more careful. Uh, here's a young lady laying on her back. I do not recommend using multiple pillows. Multiple pillows puts excessive stress on the muscles. It will make cervical arthritic changes worse. Preferably, the head and spine should be in a straight plane. Your head shouldn't be propped up nor propped down. Uh, because you want to keep the spine straight as if you're sitting, standing, or sleeping. So make sure you have a pillow that kind of fits your own body. Very important. Here's a picture of a couple of people running. Uh, this is something that I want you to be aware that running on hard terrain surfaces can aggravate cervical spondylosis because of the jolting of the head. Uh, when you are running, you obviously want to run on something softer. If it's a hard surface, you may want to put two socks on, get good shoes, be aware because I have seen not 10 or 20, but hundreds of runners have serious 
uh, disc and degenerative problems from the re repetition. Repetition is what's actually causing degeneration. Uh, look at this young lady driving. Look at her neck. The bucket seats are the absolute worst thing that we can do for our spine. You got to get a good support behind our lower back. Look at her. Her ears weigh much more forward than her shoulders. Uh, that is a big problem. So the tip for this is you need to change positions, get out of your car, take breaks. If you're driving long periods of time, that will definitely aggravate your neck area. Uh, last thing I want to mention is about cervical adjustments. This is a chiropractor adjusting uh, this lady's spine. I do not recommend people getting adjusted. Uh, you're talking and you're hearing it from a chiropractor if you are in acute inflamed pain. And I'll explain why. You're going to say, why is that? Well, a lot of doctors will say, that's no, you should be able to go and adjust everyone. Well, look at this. If you look at this spine right here, uh, that is syndesmophytes. You've got fusion of calcification from one vertebrae to the next. It's locked. If you go ahead and you put a force against Mother Nature who made this neck like this, you're looking for potential issues and problems. So that's why x-rays are so important between, before you get a, a, a adjusted. Uh, there are many things like DISH, diffuse idiopathic skeletal uh, hyperostosis, a condition where you get syndesmophytes and fusions uh, of the vertebrae. Uh, there are uh, many other different types of pathological problems that can take place in the spine, not only the neck, but the lower back, but we're talking primarily the neck. You need to be very aware that you do not want this to flare up or give you potential problems. Uh, if, when Mother Nature does her job, don't screw around with Mother Nature. That's my best advice for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I ask you to give me a thumbs up if you don't mind. Uh, check out my uh, uh, channel, Motivational Doc, on Facebook. I appreciate any uh, reviews you'd like to give me. I appreciate any of our uh, people out there who have not subscribed to subscribe because I like you to get these notifications uh, when we continue to put great material like this out there. Uh, leave your questions below. You're going to get thousands of people that are going to respond to this particular video because this is a very major, huge epidemic. And just be aware of that forward head posture. Start jutting the chin in. Do the chin tucks. Strengthen those rhomboids. Stretch those chest muscles. And really be more aware of your body. It's about health. It's about preserving your body and uh, keeping you healthy a long, long time. I ask everyone out there to make it a great day. Blessings to you and your family. Uh, with a lot of love, and we'll catch up with you real, real soon. Bye-bye now.